So in a recent video, I and Alex used this kit that like kind of like Lego for batteries kit that we found online to make a DIY lithium battery to soup up my kid's Power Wheels car. You know those little ride on cars for kids that make it, make it go real fast. And that project along with some really great positive feedback that I got from the electrician and uh, engineering communities really made me feel like, why well, stop there? I think we're ready for the big time. So as some of you know, I recently got myself a little car upgrade. I went from my 2003 Honda Civic to a plug-in hybrid 2017 Chevy Volt. And uh, one of the things that you kind of need when you have an electric car is an electric car charger. So today we will be installing this 240 volt charger. Is it 240 volt? And, and yeah, don't worry, I'm, I'm not doing it by myself. This is Brian, he's an electrician, he's gonna help. <laughs> hey, hello. The T4 Excalibur RGB DDR4 RAM uses a unique totem pattern design and ultra-wide 120 degree panel lighting. Find out more at the link in the video description. So step one is why I actually feel the need to install an electric charger. By the way, this is, this is charging land. This is the corner of my garage where I make sure there's nothing flammable because I have one of those old hoverboards here and you just, you, you, you just, never, you just never know with those. So this is the, the wall charger that's included with the Volt. So it runs at 120 volt and it charges at, I think a maximum of about, yeah, there it is, about 1400 watts, which quite frankly is lots for a plug-in hybrid. If I had this running at full capacity, I could easily charge it up overnight. But as some of you might remember from the video where I talked about getting this car, my intent is to do car reviews on an ongoing basis moving forward. So if I were charging up an actual full electric car, this would be painfully slow. So um, I think the first question the audience is gonna have for you is you're a real electrician, right? Uh -huh. Like not like a, like a Linus Media Group video host pretending to be an electrician. No. Okay, <laughs> good. Um, so then you helped me pick out this particular, this is a level two charger, is that correct? Yes. And can you explain to our friends out there what the difference is between a level one and a level two charger while I go ahead and open this baby up? Basically, it's just the amount of power that I can shovel into the car. So, you know, a level one charger, like what you're using right now, plugging into a 120 volt receptacle, you're only pulling about 1400 watts. Something like this, um, will run off a 30 amp circuit at 240 volts. So theoretically you can charge about four times faster. Cool. And we went with one from uh, Siemens. It's, uh, it's a shame they didn't uh, try, that, try that company name out in English before they, uh, before they went and they put it all over everything. <laughs> so uh, this yeah. is my Siemens Versi, Versi charge. And why did we pick this one? Um. Frankly, it's what the wholesaler had in stock. <laughs> wow, you really are a contractor. <laughs> this was a little overkill for this application, wasn't it? But a you're little, just yes. kind of a nerd. And so you were like, well, the difference is only, you know, three dollars and you know, this is better, and I'm a nerd and I love overkill. I knew it. No, I just know where it's going and, well... <laughs> I, I can't drop anything on something in the ceiling. So we interrupt this program to bring you stunning footage of the damage that Dennis has done to my house. There's the brand new hole in my ceiling of my garage that we had not intended to put there. Can we pull this panel off so we can show the bus bars? Sure. Okay, let's do that. Just the don't touch the shiny. <laughs> I'm not gonna touch the shiny. <laughs> okay, so our plan is, I think I think all the access holes are kinda in use here. Oh wait, nope, I see one. But this looks too big for it. Dang, dang it, you and your overkill, Brian. That's what drills are for. Oh, okay. All right, so let's, 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 let's get a move on then. I, I, like, right. This is it, right? We're installing a armored cable. With this, you can either go yeah. surfaced yeah. in the garage. That's nah, weak. 
this week. Or, yeah. like you were originally talking, yeah. we can run it through the attic space. Yeah, so that's what we're gonna do. Riley Murdoch, what if I told you that not far from where you're standing, one of your compatriots fell through the ceiling? <laughs> it was a dark time. I could have died. Okay, so you're gonna stick a screwdriver up? Yes. Okay. Can you see the oh, screwdriver? Oh, hi there. Huh? I, 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 have you met my friend, Mr. Pokey? Now you can poke something through a hole. Okay, can it be black <laughs> and really thick? I'm gonna say yes. Yeah, you are. And properly sheathed. It's ribbed for her pleasure. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it's really long. <laughs> That's good. Okay. You've had enough, have you? I mean, basically the idea is that uh, we might sell this place at some point and I don't know which side whoever buys it would want their electric vehicle on. Mm -hmm. So I wanted it somewhere in the middle, accessible enough that you could kind of run it across the hood of this one or plug it into that one. Um, so that, that's basically the entire rationale. So I just, I just want it to be, <clears throat> I mean, if a hobbit like me can reach it, then I figure anyone can reach it. So I just wanted it to be somewhere where you can get this down. Somewhat easily. Pretty easily. I can reach that pretty easily. So let's go, let's go like right up onto the drop and then we'll just run our little board so that we have something to screw the bottom into. Mm -hmm. Does that work? Yep. Do you want to build it or do you want me to? I can, I can build things. I, I actually have wood as well, if oh. we need any other wood. You got wood, Linus? My workshop is equipped with all kinds of things, like safety glasses, hearing protection, a staple gun. Ooh. Oh, bang! Ah, ah. Bang! Come on! You can't feel those, can you? <laughs> hey, it may not be straight, but it's 22 inches long right now, so I think, uh... Okay, there. Two perfectly 22 inch, exactly the same pieces of wood with very um, perpendicular ends. Oh yeah. Close enough. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> Are you assuming I don't have screws? I have screws. Also, I have a level. I have two. <laughs> I accidentally bought a second one when I lost my first one. You know what, I'm using my level. I'm what? not using any of your tools anymore. I'm going, I'm going to get my drill. <laughs> So that and are we good. aiming for approximately centered here? I have screws. Rough. I got my own screws. They are just as good as your screws. Which screws they're bigger, actually, Linus? They're actually slightly shorter, but not in a way that matters. It's not as thick either, Linus. Hold on. <laughs> let me see if I let me see if I have better screws. Just a sec. <laughs> I'm gonna be right back with better screws. <laughs> you know what? You know what, Brian? Fine. You know, the, the funny thing is... No, nope, no, nope, no, nope, no, whose screw is longer now? Bring yours back! <laughs> Length is the same, Linus. Well, then that's fine, isn't it? <laughs> okay. Are, are we just gonna kind of eyeball this? Like, wait a minute. Whoa, whoa, why are these two pieces of wood very different lengths? Hold on a minute here. Ah, uh, oh, there's the other one. <laughs> that was close. <laughs> Would've been funny though. <laughs> uh, okay, something like that. Yeah, do you mind? No, no, it's mine! I'm gonna do it! No! On my last vacation, I completely reorganized the garage, put in all the shelving and all that kind of stuff, and got it from this entire side being completely consumed by all the things that are in the overhead storage and shelving, Yeah. Um, to, well, now being able to park two cars in here, so. Wait, wait, what was that word you used? Vacation? Yeah, well, yeah, no, that, well, that's how I vacation. <laughs> I, I like work and organize. No, I, I was gonna say, you take vacations? <laughs> It, yeah, it was nice, actually. <laughs> okay. Oh, yes, I can do one. Nice. That's With the enough. ladder. That's enough. <laughs> ah, yeah, the ladder was a drag factor. Ooh. 
goodies. So that's all the, the fun bits inside. And Not then, a yeah, this, this, uh, this hinge does seem to come right off, but we need a uh, Allen key. All right, so now the part that I really shouldn't do. So yeah, at this point, basically what? You just kind of stick it in there, stick your conductors in there and kind of, you know, cable manage it a little bit. You know, maybe a little something like, like that. Remember kids, Although, always cut towards your abdomen. Because if you're gonna eviscerate yourself, you make sure that it's like well, really graphic. Well, actually, you have more control going towards you. <laughs> yeah, I, I, but I, I, I know, I know. I did make the mistake one time of having my hand below where I cut. Ooh, and did you slip? I did, right through this finger. Ouch. If you look carefully, you can still see a yep, line going across. I don't across. have to look that carefully. So you're going at an angle there. Is that so we can kind of unwrap it? No. No, it's, uh, we're actually not gonna have to unwrap it at all because once you go far enough, so then just kind of unthread it almost and then just slides off. Bippity bob, just like that, eh? Oh, yeah. very cool. Okay. Look at me, I'm doing electrician things. Wow, wow. Electricity. Okay. And then this blue one, I'll just kind of Well, jam that, that we're gonna actually yeah. tape up. Oh, okay. Tape the end up. Sure, and don't you have like the little caps? Ah. I have the little caps. Oh, I've got ah. a couple. <laughs> I think. Hold on. Uh, house electrical. This one's uh, this one's looking a little bare. Hold on. I swear I had some of those things. Oh no, I swear I have them. Oh, I have it! I have it! I have it! I have it! I have it. For caps, uh, Linus. I got a cap here. I just I want to get a nice little one here. I got one. No, I, got, I want to put the cap on. I want to put the cap on. You can do it with the panel. Oh, he already had a cap. I thought you you said you were going to tape it. I was going to. Then you went cap hunting. So then I just grabbed one. <laughs> You're having too much fun, Brian. This clearly isn't real work. Not anymore. No. Okay. This is way too entertaining. Okay. Okay. That looks not bad, hey. And I sorted it myself. This is where I actually stop participating because I don't trust myself in there. Yeah, I got a nice clean cut there. A general I'm just, idea. I'm just bugging you. You're doing a great job. I'm so supportive. I feel like in a past life I was probably a brazier. You know, I also love being close to breasts. You know, that's another indication. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, this has been patched before. Yep, sure has. That's cool. Yep, so has this part, so has this part, so has this part. Yep, it's kind of a, it's kind of a patchwork, you know, house. Have you ever considered just putting a new shoe to drywall on? Nope. Oh. Be back with the hammer before he's done. Yes. You just won't use my hammer. Wow. <laughs> Disrespect. Look how much better that hammer worked. It's a nice hammer. It's wood, you know. Wood craftsmanship. I do have a fresh pack of blades too, but. So do I. I actually don't. I'm just. You know, we were comparing. Yeah. Who was more equipped, Patrick. and I got, I got carried away there. Okay. No, you need to yeah. slice. Oh, right, you can't just like take it off. No, it's the metal part that just slides off. Okay. I got it, I got it. Okay. Oh wow, it's so soft. It's actually like really easy to cut. Mm-hmm. Huh, it looks tougher and more rigid than, than I guess it is. Yeah, it's the armor that makes it hard. Right, okay, so I need the hacksaw then. And then kind of that kind of angle? Yep. Yeah, roughly a 45. Are you, okay, so you're not supposed to cut on the backstroke, but you can still run it back and forth, yeah. right? Yeah, oh yeah. Mm. You just want to make sure you stay well fairly level. Oh, level, okay. Yep. Whoops, I'm sliding all over the place here. Or wait, you're twisting the other way. There it is. There. There you go. And pull. Okay. There you go. Wicked. So 
So this is a bit different style of connector. Okay. So well, it's just one screw to do. Uh, you know what? Hold on. Good. That's solid enough. Yep. Cool. Not going anywhere. Tie in the bond. Yep, sure. Uh, proceed with the bond tying in. Outside. Okay, cool. So. Okay, so this blue one we're not gonna need. So nope. we just cap that and chuck it here or whatever. Out of the way, yep. yep. And then next we put the breaker in. So how these work, this is actually an old style of breaker. These are called commanders. Yeah. So if you look Commanders. on the back side of the bus bar here, yeah. those little, There's a little kick outs, thing. yes. That goes right in there. Exactly. Cool, okay. So this hooks on, make sure the breaker's off because my fingers are on the lugs. So that hooks on. And then these two screws just tighten down into the bus bars. Yeah, sure, no problem. Yeah. And is, is, is there a, like, is there a reason that we haven't just turned this off while we do this part? Because that would kill power to the entire house. So? I mean, that's what I do whenever I do anything with the house wiring. <laughs> you just kill the main? Yeah, I just, put my, <laughs> I just put my headlamp on. Well, because they're not very well labeled, so I don't know what's yeah, what exactly. Yeah. I guess that's true. Like, when you don't know what you're doing, yeah. you know, yeah. you just... <laughs> Play it safe, yep. but it seems fine, so mm -hmm. I guess you're yep. fine. Well, because this, like plastic and rubber, yeah. are insulators. Yeah, well, I know. So obviously you wouldn't want to touch this. Right, but you could, like, putting that just in. slip and, like, bleh, get your hand all over it, and, like, because I'm me, so I, you know, yeah. Fair enough. I'm going to keep doing it the way I do it. Okay. But again, if you strip too much, we just nip a little off. Sure. So. They call me the Nip King. I don't know about that. Pop it like it's hot or neutral or ground. Mm -hmm. Ah, ah, ah. <laughs> Actually, it looks like th something in here is oh, what blown the? up a little bit. <laughs> Maybe a breaker tripping or something. A little bit of arc flash. Oh, that's sexy. Yeah, so that would be... Something exploded here, okay. Let's put it back exactly the way it was without any further investigation. Yeah. Hey! Ooh! Pretty. Fancy. It's got like lines around the edges. That's the coolest looking Siemens I've ever seen. He's gonna do it! Moment of truth! Don't get run over now. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, wrong pedal there. Yeah, oh. yeah, geez, come on, man. So my cats are both gone, presumably dead. So um, the best thing I can do with their old toys is make my little alignment thing here. See that? See that parking job? See how, how nailed that is? Uh, so that means I can open my door up like this and the sliding door of the van. And there will be about this much space. Nice. All right. So here we go. Unholster. Bring one loop down. You know what I'm probably gonna do is like just a little strap cable, or something. Cable tie. Yeah, strap that in there or something. I have smaller straps if you want to pop them. And one. pow! It's charging! Oh, I heard it kind of click on there too. Look at it go! Oh, it makes some noise there, doesn't it? This yeah. is really giving her. May not be RGB, but it's G. <laughs> it's got the G part. <laughs> So I wonder how long it's going to take to charge on this thing. It actually takes more than overnight on the low setting of the one that came in the box. Mm -hmm. um, and the reason I use that is because I've got my deep freeze plugged into the same circuit. So I was worried mm -hmm. that, that if that kicked in and I was yeah. drawing 14, 14, 50 watts or whatever it was, yeah. then it would turn off both of them. And if my food all spoiled, that'd be a problem. So I was yeah. kind of like, ah, yeah. I'll just wait until I get the proper charger. But mm -hmm. this should charge this puppy up in like, I don't know, probably not very much time. A few hours? Yeah. Cool! Nice! 
So that's pretty much it. That was Garage EV installer time. Uh, thank you, Brian, for helping out. If you're a small business owner or a freelancer, FreshBooks is the accounting solution for you. It's a simple way to be more productive, more organized, and to get paid faster. So you're spending less of your time fussing over your expenses and your accounts receivable, and more time actually doing your work. You can create and send professional looking invoices in less than 30 seconds. You can set up online payments in just a couple of clicks to get paid up to four days faster. You can see when your client has seen your invoice to put an end to the guessing games, and you can take the whole experience with you on the go with their fully featured iOS and Android apps. For an unrestricted 30 day free trial, go to www.freshbooks.com forward slash tech tips. We're gonna have that linked below and enter Linus Tech Tips in the how did you hear about us section. So if you guys didn't like the video, you know where that button is. But if you liked it, hit like, get subscribed, or maybe consider checking out where to buy the stuff we featured at the link in the video descriptions. I, I can't recommend these Siemens enough. Um, while you're down there, we've also got links to our merch store, which has cool shirts like this one, and our community forum, which you should totally join.